So after five years of locking down their best models, OpenAI did something that not many people saw coming. They went totally open source on their latest model. Sam Altman literally admitted that they were, quote, on the wrong side of history, and he just dropped two massive models that you can run locally. But here's the twist. Early testers are saying these models might, well, let's see. Chinese AI labs have been eating OpenAI's lunch with models like GLM 4.5 and Kimi K2, and now we're seeing why OpenAI suddenly is changing their tune. So is this a strategic mass stroke or a desperate attempt to stay relevant and stay alive. So let's dive in and take a look today. So OpenAI just shook up the entire AI landscape by releasing their first open source model since GPT-2. So the community response has, tells a fascinating story about where AI is really heading. So Sam Altman publicly stated OpenAI has been, quote, on the wrong side of history when it comes to open sourcing their technology. This represents a complete 180 degree turn from their closed door API only approach in the, over the past five years. So the timing isn't coincidental. Chinese labs, DeepSeek, GLM, and Quen have been dominating the open source space. And OpenAI realized that they were losing developer mindshare to models people could actually run and modify locally. Now, let's kind of dive in and take a look at some of these models and look at their release here. So we can see here, I'm gonna move my uh, my head here to the other side of this here. So we can see that introduce, uh, you know, this is OpenAI's announcement. We're introducing GPT OS. So there, it's 120 billion and a 20 billion parameter model, right? So just read you here this opening part. We're releasing GPT o OSS 120 and 20 billion two state-of-the-art open weight uh, language models that deliver strong real-world performance at low cost. Available under the flexible Apache 2 license, these models outperform similarly sized open models on reasoning tasks, demonstrating strong tool use capabilities, and are optimized for efficient deployment on consumer hardware. So this is an emphasis on consumer hardware, and I'm gonna talk about that statement here in a second. They're trained using a mixed reinforcement learning and techniques informed by OpenAI's most advanced internal models, including including O3 and other frontier models. Now it goes on to say that you can run this on edge devices with just 16 gigs of uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. Now that's kind of a little bit of a stretch because uh, you know 16 gigabytes, maybe 16 gigabytes of GPU memory, but not just 16 gigabytes of RAM, right? So that can be definitely misconstrued. But these models are compatible with our response API and are designed to be used with agentic workflows, the exceptional instructions, uh, instruction following tools like web search, Python, code execution, and reasoning. So they're talking about safety is foundational to our approach, and so they're starting to open source things. They're also talking about their partners that they're working with and how they pre-trained it. And then these are their 2 billion models, right, with how they're breaking this down, right? So there's the 120 billion models, which have 36 layers and 117 billion total parameters. And then there are 20 billion, which is 24 layers and 21 billion of total parameters and the different uh, token size, um, and so they're talking about how these train these. And so this is their Hugging Faces uh, platform here where they're working or where they have open sourced this, right? And so a lot of this, you know, re repeat here, right? This highly anticipated open weight release by OpenAI. So, you know, that's a big release here to make it even better and more impactful to the community. The models are licensed under Apache 2, which basically means free by free. It means if you're gonna use this, you just have to release the your source code along with it. Now, this is the Olama model where you can then take this and use it um, to use reasoning, angetic model, and versatile developer use cases, right? So if you're gonna modify this, then you just have to release it. That's part of you know what Apache 2 model is, right? So they go through a lot of the different uh, highlights, right? Agenic capabilities, full chain of thought, configurable reasoning, um, effort, fine tunable, and permissive Apache 2 Lightened, built freely without copy left restrictions or patent risk, ideal for experimental customization and commercial deployment, right? And it goes through and breaks down uh, how these rank up. Now, in their card here then, they release, and this is their official card release, they say that this is ranking up there, right up there with, uh, you know, above O3 Mini, uh, right in the range of 04 mini um, and so right in that range so definitely clearly you know somewhat uh, neutered from 04 right because they're showing that it's even showing less but still a pretty impressive model by their standards so this is an interesting release and an interesting move by by open ai right and so the 120 billion model so to kind of put this into perspective the 120 billion model needs an h100 gpu with 80 gigs of memory so i'm not totally sure i would call this consumer grade i don't know a lot of people 
with $30,000 worth of hardware just kind of laying around. So it's an interesting statement for them to say that it's consumer grade when, and, and maybe consumer grade means more than, you know, one H100 is what they consider not consumer grade. I don't know a ton of people buying H100s. Um, the 20 billion model says it can run with just 16 gigs. So this is something that you could run more reasonably, right? You could get a 3090, uh, 4090, uh, maybe even like get, I know what we're starting to build out a lot of right now is multiple 3090s. And if you get two 3090s, you could comfortably run this, right? Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We we don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.